I'm just reminding everybody, that has already been quoted tonight, but it's a most important point to remember. Therefore, it is unambiguously clear that no relevant or material reduction in the overall response times is shown necessary to demonstrate the very special circumstances needed for overturning Greenbelt policy. In other words, we have delays to the east of the Upton Fire Station for all those 75% of residents who live there with a potential, but not necessarily factual, reduction in uh, response times to Hoyling, Mells and West Kirby. And to comment on what the um, uh, traffic officer has said, there's about three routes you can get to uh, to Mells and Hoyling and West Kirby from um, the Sadogo Massey Fire Station. All three of them consist of winding, congested roads. Uh, the worst one is Heron Road, the other two are pretty awful as well. So there's no guarantee that you could ever get there to the point on time. Um, now just turning very briefly to the location situation. Whilst the reduction in size of the proposed community fire station and slight move between five and 10 meters away from the sheltered accommodation on Woodpecker Close is welcome, of course it's welcome. But it is not sufficiently material to overcome the reasons for refusal supported by planning committee in December 2016. I therefore conclude, after a great deal of thought, and the fact that I also have relatives who work for the fire brigade and do a fantastic job, there have been no very special circumstances demonstrated to justify overturning Greenbelt policy for this particular application. So I'll listen carefully, as I always do, to the continuing debate, but unless something new and relevant is identified from a planning perspective, I will inevitably be likely to want to move refusal. Thank you, Chair.
Upton and Woodchurch, both of which, as Cathy suggests, uh, still in response times uh, that are um, acceptable both by uh, letters of fire authority own standards and by the National Home Office standards. On that basis, um, as was the case last time, when you know, we spoke for a long time about response times, but uh, not the standard of the fire officer wasn't able to personally say it was a response times, uh, it was nevertheless somewhere we discussed at length. And it was the case then um, that I didn't think uh, the argument support uh, uh, led to special circumstances required being met. That's the first point. The second point was raised by Council Fouts. No, the actual reason for refusal uh, that, we, uh, that we came to when we considered the application again in the uh, 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 first uh, in December and how the changes uh, that have been made are they, are they enough to overcome the reasons that we gave for refusal only a few months ago? Um, and when Council Blakey made his remarks, he helpfully broke down those reasons into seven. Um, six or seven uh, areas. I'm looking at them now on page 50 at the top of the report. I'm bound to say that I agree with David uh, uh, analysis and indeed his perspective, but I don't think the uh, changes that have been made are sufficient to, um, to overcome uh, the, the reasons that we gave for refusal. The most of all, the refusal last time was a visual means of the transparent in the area. Community and maybe residents of the wider locality, uh, etc. Um, David, in his remarks, referred to uh, the movement of the distance um, from the property was about to 10 meters. Over on page 58, the distance is seen to have altered by the of more than two to four meters. Um, I think my contention would be that, uh, that that would not be sufficient. Just a couple of final remarks uh, then. Uh, I've heard a comment made by Eddie and David on. The, uh, the issue of highways. Again, that had a bit of an early in December. I'm not satisfied that highways would be a sustainable reason <coughs> for, for refusal. Um, we, we had a debate many years ago when um, the Beckett Air Fire Station was, um, was, was to be uh, was being uh, refurbished to be brought to the temporary one uh, in the narrow lanes of, of, of Oxford. And so there was some concern about that. And that was debated about helping fire. fire how can fire engines get through this sort of traffic and this sort of obstacles? And it was put to me, you know, if you can get from Kirkdale to Anfield on match day um, with a response, and I thought, well, that's fair enough. So, and there will be other parts of the country where cows form uh, an issue uh, for the fire brigade and they're able to, to get that. Right. I'm not persuaded on highway grounds uh, that, uh, that that would be a, um, a problem or issue. In terms of the other sites, uh, we did hear of um, you know, the, the first choice of the fire brigade was Greensby, and the council officers and the first effect of the council took that off the table. It, indeed, I think it was the leader of the council acting with his own powers rather than any other committee of the council that took it off the table, and no particular reasons were given for that. In terms of the response times, just going back to, uh, to that as a second issue, the word optimum is used only once, that's in respect of the site at three lanes end. And it's used in, in the sense that if every part of the station area got the same sort of uh, response time, that would be the optimum um, site. Clearly, however, and that's what we raised the, the issue of the population of Upton and uh, Woodchurch, 35%, and of um, the station area and of West Kerry Hoyland to 25 percent, we don't see lead one to feel that the presence ought to, ought to lead more in the direction of up to Woodchurch, uh, particularly so far as the, uh, the fact that there are more crawl outs into the area, which the population statistics uh, would suggest it would not be unusual. Final comment in respect then of Belfort, which has been you know, put on the table, and was put on the table by the Chief Fire Officer. But it is nonetheless nice that Steve Fouts did make the point that if he hadn't mentioned it, it would have been the elephant in the room. And certainly, knowing this was on the agenda and knowing that the uh, knowing that, uh, events in Belfort had taken place, um, it was in the back of, of my mind. I, I, I wasn't sure which way particularly to take it. I think it was quite. Uh, 
the Lewis Commons, but there has been no public inquiry, there has been no coroner's uh, court, and we do not know uh, the full facts around it. It's been put on the table by those in support of the application <laughs> that here is a fire and there are of life. I'm sorry, could you speak up? Here is, a, here is a fire and there's been a, um, a serious loss, loss of life. Um, however, contrary to that, and, and, and prior to hearing um, comments about Bedford, it was in the back of my mind that to move the fire station away from the tower block of Winchester States would strike me as a, uh, a, 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 a sort of fluid face of what we might describe as the immediate um, uh, impact of, uh, of, what, of what we see in Bedford. And it's also the case that so far as risk assessments, fire procedures, etc., in that time of wondering, all of those have followed as far as we are so far away, correctly and properly. And it is on the basis of risk assessments and proper procedures that the fire officer justifies moving uh, the response away from our fire hospital. So again, to put the profile on the table strikes me as at least 50, at least 50-50 but in my mind, an argument actually against moving or increasing response times to uh, the Tower Block uh, and Island Park uh, Hospital. Then my comments on the issues that have been raised. I've looked on page um, 50 at the previous reasons for the refusal. I don't believe that the application uh, satisfies those reasons. At the last committee, I also wasn't satisfied. The last committee didn't, didn't agree. The rest of the majority of course didn't agree uh, with me on that, but uh, I also don't think the special circumstances have been met in this case, and I will uh, post it for you. Uh, before I bring anybody else in, I'd just like the officers to comment um, on a couple of points that Stuart raised there uh, in terms of uh, the difference between the two metres and the ten metres. I'm sure you have an explanation for that. And also, uh, just in terms of the response times, uh, whether uh, the report does cover that uh, the national average response times are covered within this report, if the station should be located at 4 